what's happening? More Star Wars Jedi Survivor. I thought even though the main storyline was over that we'll go ahead and do some other side things that's happening. I was going around Kobo and checking out different things that I hadn't even explored and I ran into some bounty hunters. So I remembered there's like a whole list of bounty hunters that you can go look for. So I figured I'd do some videos on that. And then also this first video, why not go to the Pylone Saloon and check out everything there? I've only been there a few times and looked at things, but there's plenty more to do. So we've got the Hollow Tactics game, which I haven't even played. There's the gardening. There's more characters supposedly in there. So figure we check it out. I went ahead and updated Kyle's outfit too. I've got the full scoundrel outfit on with the bandolier thing that's across his chest. Threw, threw on some long hair and also a long beard. So figured uh, he, it's been a little while since he did all the fighting. So might as well let his stuff grow out. But let's jump back into it. See what we got happening over here. At the best little saloon in the galaxy. At least I'm sure that's what Grease would say. But thanks for clicking on the video. I appreciate it. Appreciate you tuning in. Wow, the door opens quick now. This is the first time I've been back here since I finished the game. Alright, so... Hey, Grease. Know where Kata is? Upstairs, I think. <laughs> I'm just glad she didn't find the kitchen. That kid eats like a starving rancor. I gotta pick up some more scat steaks before we head out. No one makes them like you, Grease. And don't you forget it. A starving rancor. <laughs> That's crazy. Gotta be another way. Always an angle. Always. Lost a family. Looking for a new one. Um, I can relate, Cal, but you gotta make a choice. The future or the past. Can't have it all. <laughs> Not in this galaxy. Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Practicing his plot, I guess. Cal, I gotta confess something. Here we go. That tech I tried to sell to Ravis, there's more of it in the valley. A building right in the center. You can't miss it. We've already been there, Turgle. But thanks for the tip. Really? Well, is it too late to say that we split whatever you find 50-50-50? Maybe next time. I'm gonna hold you to that. <laughs> do you weird. know about the bile mall lurking in the mountain? Can't say I do. May seem peaceful, but when disturbed, it will charge and trample you. Its thick hide makes it resistant to even the strongest weapons. How would you approach it? Mind your feet. Its spray attack will leave pools of acid on the ground. Good to know. Thanks. Well, we fought enough of those things, I know that. Good old Turgle. Hey, I've seen you around. Don't reckon we've been introduced. I'm Dana. Cal, this is BD. Squeaky little thing, isn't he? Sorry, I'm, I'm being ornery. Just not feeling like myself lately. He might have seen me in here with my treasure hunting partner, Grok. Big geezer. Had a frown that could drill rock. I just found out that the old man ate it trying to nick a fuel injector off Imperial turf. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> hey, don't be. Happens to all of us, right? Old man even got the payload out before... Uh, catch you around the corner. Hey, Cal? Yeah. See you around. Interesting. They don't want to talk. I'll talk to her in a minute. Oh, they got a DJ. So what'd you do before you came here? I used to perform in a medicine show. I was required to dress in garish outfits and read fortunes while others would scam the audience. That sounds a little demeaning. Yes, but the experiences we carry always have a use, Sojourner. When I arrived on Kobo, 
I noticed a charlatan trying to swindle someone with fool's prior right. How'd you know? He wore long sleeves in the heat. Sleight of hand, huh? I saw a merchant on Karelia do that. An old trick. Well, I stopped the sale, and Doma has been grateful ever since. And the swindler? Tried the trick on the Raiders, so I hear, and sealed his fate. She's definitely interesting. The weather report is cloudy with a 100% chance of Star Destroyer. Can't believe the Empire sent one all the way out here. Indeed. Pretty soon you'll be able to count Empire free planets on one hand. Hang in there, Monk. Grease and I are working on something you might be interested in. He did mention something about a franchise opportunity. Yeah, we're gonna put one on the moon. Listen, friend, what's your name? It's Cal. Moran. Charm. You seem a decent sort, Cal. Look, maybe you're just the latest fool to get tangled up with the Bedlam Raiders, or maybe you're the real deal. But this place will bleed you dry. Understand? Get out while you can. Noted. Hmm, what's he know? Some prospectors told me about a strange building. Distinctive entrance, so they say. Could be one of those meditation chambers. Yes, I was thinking the same. Let me know if you find anything, will you? No problem, Toa. Chamber Mountain? Hey, glad you both found Pyloons all right. <laughs> Thanks again for the invite. Name's Ash Javi, by the way. I'm Cal. This is BD1. Man, you didn't tell me what a dive this place would be. This saloon has wonky acoustics, weirder customers, and a barely functional refresher. It's perfect. Can't wait to hear what you've got. Pretty sure Grease's old jukebox predates the High Republic. We got you, Cal. Hit up DDEC if you want to hear anything specific. I will. Thanks. <laughs> He's over there. Cutting it up on the ones and twos. All right, let's go upstairs because I know we got the aquarium tank now, which Scuba Stev, aka Scuba Steve, he should be in here. There he is. Ah, what? Cast your eyes over this beauteous tank. Glad you came around to it. Hey, didn't he make a fetching first impression? Never mind to get our third scrubbing. Cleaning the filter, you think someone tried to cram a mollus through a sieve? Oh, can't unhear that. <laughs> yeah, that thing was dirty though when we first got here. So four out of twelve fish. There's it's still eight more, that's a lot. But it looks pretty cool. Good to see you made it back. How's Pyloons treating you? It's adorably derelict and entirely unique. If this cantina were on Coruscant, you could quadruple the prices and still have lines out the door. Any luck with the data pad? Ask Doma. She's working on it. Thanks again for your help, Cal. Don't mention it. We made it. And I've got the compass. Well done! Then it's all over, is it? Or just the beginning. It's gonna take a lot to get Tantalor ready for the others. Wanna come with us? I appreciate the offer, but this cantina really has become a home. Glad to hear it, Z. I don't Perhaps know how many... You. I've got ten. There was something a while back I wanted, but I was kind of on the fence about it. Remarkable, isn't it? I think it was this. Oh, there was both of those. Well, I can go ahead and get both, I guess. 
Here you go. A most wise decision. Could use this. I hope this will assist you. Takes care of that. Oh, I think this is where that hollow tactics is. Welcome, welcome! Why not step up and try your hand at hollow tactics? The game of sages and warriors alike. So I wonder if this is... Ah, our savior returns. Let me make a proper introduction. I am Bima Ook, and this is my associate, Tali Moo. As you can see, we have set up a game of Hollow Tactics here in Pyloon Saloon. I'm Cal. Glad you made it back safe. I'd say the same to you, but it seems there is no doubt that you can handle yourself. I see you have a companion droid. They can add to your Hollow Tactics deck by scanning combatants. Ah, got it. The more scans BD collects, the more options I'll have in the game. <laughs> exactly. Of course, there is nothing stopping you from playing right now. Oh, it's time for some hollow tactics! Select the opponent. Then you defeat him, get unique rewards. Yeah, so I think this is something similar to what in the movies you always saw Chewbacca playing it looked like a, a hologram type chess game or something which might have been this that's what it reminds me of so you get battle points place them on the table all right so you got to get through the waves without dying additional battle points will be awarded each wave unused carryover win all waves to complete the challenge New units unlocked. Let's go ahead and fight Turo. Uh, okay. You'll never beat me. We got six battle points. <laughs> you only get one of those. Well, I think you. Get Bedlam Raiders. Those have melee. Those BX droids are really good. They take a while to, to knock them down. Those are not worth anything. B2 droids not bad, but... Oh, that Garako. That thing's pretty tough. The Mogu's in here. The Scryton's in here. Where's the Where's the Rancor? All right, so let's put one of these on here. I wonder if the further they are back, the better. I don't know. Maybe put him on the outside. I guess we'll start with 3 to there too. What a show. All right, not bad. I mean, three on two, you had your odds, but never a guarantee. Oh, what's that, a Bedlam Raider? Kind of looks like it. Well, that's not going to make it. So oh, now you got 12. You could up. That one's got the rocket. Those have shields, so that's a little bit better. But you only can get... I'd probably say get one of those. And then... Yeah, I'd probably go... Two of those. See what happens. Advance. And it's a corner. 
Well, that's not working out. Unless this guy can do something. Oh, he destroyed him. The odds have spoken, I'm afraid. I won? I won! How do I turn this off? I thought there was three rounds. There was only one to one. So right, it's let's a recording? run it back. When do I start talking? Alright, so same thing on the first one. At least that seemed to work. We'll see if it works again. Combat! Yeah, they don't have. And it's off the board! Now they don't. So those kill. don't have guns, so that kind of puts and them at a disadvantage. I think you definitely need at least one with a gun, and the last time, none of my selections had guns. So, you're going to need those no matter what. So, let's see. What if we put those in the front, and then... You almost need something to combat that, because I think this is what they have. Going with the Electro Staff. So I'd say put them back there. We'll see what happens with this. Let the battle begin! A great hit by Cal! A chance that unit is toast. Cal Kestis takes the match. Oh, no, my high score. All right. Well, I guess on the third one, it still let you go. Okay. So, you think you can take on old Grease? He's got those little animal things? <laughs> That's so crazy. 16. Alright, well, these don't last long, but they, they at least are beneficial. So, we'll stack the front row with those. Let's see. So, we got 10... Oh yeah, the this droid thing is nasty. We'll just stick him in there. Commence! That unit is toast! And it's off the board! Things are looking good for Cal! Our young competitor is on a roll! A well-played round by Cal Kestis. Love to see it. <laughs> so if I didn't have that huge droid in there, I probably wouldn't. <laughs> There's no way I would have made it. Those animals, because of their charge factor, they did more damage than I thought they would. I don't. I didn't think they'd last that long. I, taking it from the perspective of me fighting them with the lightsaber, it's it's not really a comparison. It's a lot easier for me versus these stormtroopers. All right, so we've got 18 now. Yeah, I think... I think I'm going to stick with those, and then... Man, this thing just does so much damage. Keep rocking with it. Hollow tactics. Oh, so long, farewell. And it's a corner. And it's off the board. 
masterfully played. It's that droid, I'm telling you. That thing is... It's hard to defeat in the actual game. The thing just takes so much damage. Alright, back to... We got 16 again. So this one... So they have a droid. So we got guns on guns. So I think we'll stick with that and then go back to our droid again. Why is the sentry George just standing there? Oh, so long, farewell. Oh, it never stood there we a go. chance. Brilliant gambit. I got worried for a minute. That sentry George was just standing there in the middle taking hits. I got the pilot jacket. Come on, double or nothing. Double or nothing. Come on, Grease. All right. Let's see what this she's got. A true contest of minds. I feel like she's gonna be smart. All right. So they got the. Yeah, we got guns. So stormtrooper commander. That's probably a little bit harder to defeat. I think that's what they have. But I'm gonna stick with this. Keep going with this strategy, see what happens. Combat! An expert play by Kestis! And it's a corner! I only lost one, that's not bad. Will his victorious streak continue? Time will tell. Oh, yeah. So, I think those are the weak droids in the back. Can't tell what's in the front. I don't know if those are Bedlam Raiders or not. I think so. I think they've got that. The Raider Grunt. They've got that and the B1 droid, I believe. Or... Could be the melee one, but I think it's got a gun, so I don't think so. So these troopers might not last as long, but we'll see. I think it's best. Let's do an extra one. And then get our sentry droid. So we at least outnumber them. Commence! That's a score for Cal! And it's a corner! Fortune smiles on you. I mean, the sentry droid's the key. If that thing gets beat, then you're you're in trouble. All right, so those Bedlam Raiders look a little bit bigger. So it might be those. The veteran. And then they may have one of those more difficult. Maybe that. It's either the BX rifle or the hybrid, but I think it's probably the rifle. We'll stick to the troopers with the lasers, because at least, if nothing else... Nothing else they can shoot, so...
Yeah, those Bedlam Raiders are way better. I think those are definitely the veterans. Oh, they took it out. Yeah, I'm not winning this one. They got more power. Seems like Cal will have to review and adjust his strategy. <laughs> yeah, and it's only going to take I you so far. This victory. Oh, you trash talking now, huh? This will be a true contest of minds. All right, so we've got 16. Those are three. You can put those roller mines out there? It's not really a bad idea. Alright, so... Oh, we're back to the beginning wave now. Alright, let me... We'll switch back to... Switch back to the original strategy for this round. And when we get to the Bedlam Raiders again, I'll have to switch out because it's not going to work. Oh, so long farewell. May not work now. My guy's are getting blown and up. Cal takes one out. Obliterated. Cal will be looking to I feel like the Sentry Joy got a chance to do round. that spinning attack when he was fighting the Bedlam Raiders. Yeah, so this round it was still okay, but it's the next one that is just too much to deal with. See, they throw. That's a hollow kill. And it's off the board. All right, come on, Sentry Droid. And Cal takes one out. Yeah, one on one, I don't think Cal you can beat it. All right, so here's the here's the round that causes the problem. So we've got 16. So that one. We need to get another one that's equal to theirs. We'll drop that down. That gives us eight. And yeah, that's tough because you don't have a lot. Whoops. Oh yeah, I forgot you got these monsters too. So the hybrid can shoot. This one's only one. You can throw that one in there too. Wait, what? Oh, I was on the wrong one. Like one on one, head to head. Yeah, that was anybody's home. game right there. Cal Testis triumphs. Oh, 
Didn't know if we were going to pull that one out. That was tough. Anodized metal. It seems I am lacking in clear strategy. Oh, man. We got Marin. Undiscovered. Oh, there's more people to find then. You do not fear my strategy. You will. <laughs> oh, she's got one of the sentry droids. Well, she's got a different one. I, I'm not sure which one that is. That might be... Yeah, mine's got a hammer and staff. Looks like hers has got a gun. So it might be that one. All right, well, staff and blaster may be beneficial to go with that. Well, we got 25. Yeah, I don't know how well these troopers will do against those little spiky things, but I guess we'll see. All right, that leaves us with 11. I think I'm going to get two of these because, I mean, those things can fight. Combat! Obliterated! Oh, it never stood a chance! A strong round for Cal! I didn't lose anybody. I'm surprised. Oh, she's going with the heavy artillery. She's got... Which one is that? That's this one. Yeah, that's the one that's on Jetta. That thing's 10. I mean, you need something to fight that. There's no way... It, I don't think the sentry droid will be able to take that down. Ooh, I wish the Garako was 10 because I've seen those two things fight just out in ink. Maybe it was on... No, I think it was the... It was the Mogu and the Garako. I saw those two things fight. And the Garako won. I was surprised. Alright, since so she's got one of those... I don't know what those little things are on the side. Let's go ahead and go head to head with that. Let's get one of these. I'm still going to go. See, this one's got missiles, so I may, may go ahead and put him in there. And since we got two, let's just go ahead and throw a stormtrooper in there. See what happens. Hollow tactics! Things are looking good for Cal! That unit is toast! Obliterated! That's the round to Cal Kestis! Look at this. So, a Scryton. Really? So, this Sudaban Alpha didn't last very long for me. That thing's 20. I feel like putting that in there and then the sentry droid. Wonder how long. If you did three sentry droids, wonder how long that would last. You go. That one's got missiles. Or that one's got missiles. And the other two. 
I think do two of these since they have guns. Let's see what happens. I'm just interested. Super curious. Yeah, it's lost no health. So it's pretty much. And it's off the board. And it's a corner. I mean, it came close, but it appears yeah, your strategy wasn't up to the challenge. You definitely needed more. Concentrate, or you will never be my equal. I love how you beat them two times in a row. They win the last one, then they start talking trash. You do trash. not fear my strategy. You will. All right, so yeah, we did the blaster on the last one, and then I think we had one of the Bedlam Raiders. I'm just going to do two of those because I don't think you really need much more. Go! Oh, so long, farewell! Obliterated! Our young competitor is on a roll! Outstanding. Man, my sentry droid took a hit. That's all right. Five points carried over. All right. Since she's going with this, I want to try. Look how much space this thing takes up. All right. I want to try this one. And then we've got. Let me get the one with the missiles. And we'll throw another raider in there. See how they do. Let the battle begin. Our young competitor is on a roll. An expert play by Kestis! That's certainly one way to use your head! Some <laughs> smart moves from Cal see him through to the next round! Yeah, so I don't know if... Like, pretty much I think the only thing you can do is scrighten on scrighten. I don't... I don't know if the Biomaw will really do much. I mean, the Garako is pretty tough, but I don't know if it can. I'm just so I'm so interested to see what it could do, though. Ooh, I think one thing you've got. Let's do so we can do that and then also throw this one in there. And then we'll throw a raider in there just because he's way outmatched. Combat! And it's a headbutt from the Biomaw! The Rocco goes up and comes down! Oh, it never stood a chance! A marvelous showing. Yeah, that Scryton was overmatched in that scenario. With those two big things. Ancient Scrolls. The better strategy wins. Always. No doubt. Alright, I think I'll take a break from that now. Expand I'm your forces, soon. scan enemies. There are more battles to fight! I mean, up to this point, I've scanned quite a bit. I don't know if there's much I haven't seen. But I'll stop at this point. On the next video, I'm going to jump into the bounty hunting. So, 
we'll head downstairs to talk to our bounty hunter person, I think, or Cage, welcome, I think welcome. is her name. Make yourself at home. Yeah, as if I left. I was just upstairs. <laughs> so we'll jump into that on the next one. Hope to see you back for that one. Take care.